I'm a nonfiction storyteller. Oftentimes, I travel to hidden places to seek facts for my stories. Sometimes, I will find evidence in the writing on the wall. Sometimes, they are recorded in other types of material. But when I find them, they become voices from oblivion. In this episode, we get to meet a German who in 1970s bought cargo ships to rescue Vietnamese boat people. I was a normal citizen in West Germany and I started to see pictures on the television screen of hundreds of thousands of people, Vietnamese, so-called boat people, going into the uh, South China Sea. <coughs> and uh, I, I knew that I have to do something for them. There were many, many hindrances and, uh, and walls against this operation from the side of the government. But then we had one, one, one man in Germany who was a moral authority. This was a Nobel Prize winner and writer Heinrich Böll, who told me on the telephone that he will join us in this operation. Then there coming another event which brought us 1.3 million German marks. And this was the obligation for us to do another ship besides the French ship, a German ship with German flag. This had a very strange name. I did not know whether my population will accommodate to this, but later on I know that it was a good name. It had the name Cap Anamur, Cap Anamur. And with this ship, we were going out to rescue Vietnamese boat people. And you could say we have saved 11,300 boat people. We have in German this, this famous slogan that we say, this is only a drop of water on the hot stone. And I always argue that we have saved 11,300 drops, Vietnamese, real beings, human beings. So <clears throat> this was an operation which has changed German society in a way and changed also my life. The current situation in the Mediterranean Sea is almost equal to the situation 35 years ago in the South China Sea, but it is bigger. It's a bigger political problem than it was there. 
because Europe has not yet accepted the biggest tragedy which we have since 50 years. So uh, we have to do as Europeans, because we are losing our honor as Europeans, we have to do rescue operation. Voices from Oblivion are working to document, preserve, and exhibit these stories for public education about our history, the history of the Vietnamese refugees. Please support our work by becoming a patron. Go to patreon.com forward slash voices from Oblivion to make a contribution. As a patron, you will get the first dip of our video. Follow our social media site on Facebook for news and development. No matter how large or small, your contribution is important to us and the future generations. Thank you.